morning, fellow night lords, Uber drivers. Let's drive till dawn. We're out here on a rainy Friday um, in the Washington DC area waiting for our next trip. I did one for about five bucks. Yeah, 5.69. And um, yeah, um, so as people should know, the major employer around the DC area is the federal government. Either people are work directly for the federal government, they're contractors, or work in some industry adjacent to the government. And I think tomorrow is Veterans Day, so they've closed the federal government for today. So that means even though it's rush hour, technically, um, it's not rush hour today because yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> no, um, it's just not so busy out and it's hard to get rides and I don't want to go and take these long rides. I still need it. I want to, I've aimed for like the, uh, 40 ride bonus. Forget how much it is. Uber share to Maryland. Didn't to do this one. It's not bad. But Clinton, Maryland takes you out in the cut. I like Clinton, Maryland. I love it. Great place to go. Um, people give Prince George's County a bad rap, but Maryland's pretty chill. It's like a majority black, you could almost call it slightly rural retirement area. Why do I have the blinkers on? Um, retirement community. Not a retirement community, but someone. the best way I could describe it as is when you want to, if you like maybe lived in the southeast or D.C. your whole life, you want to get to a slower pace of life, Less crime, more ch Oh, here we go. Seven minutes to the uh, rider, and then six-minute rides for $5. Okay, we got it. We're picking up uh, Dahlia. All right, I'll see you guys later. We got to keep this shit rolling. So we're sitting pretty at about five trips now. I thought I'd pull into uh, Doge and see what they got. See if they got that... Uh, Oh shit, Chip the part. See if they got that Hornet, see what they got around here. Probably nothing, but it needs a break. Stretch my legs. So I just talked to the salesman. This is the Hornet, the Dark Cars, Dodge Chrysler. This is GT, I love the black trim. I would buy this if I was ready to buy. Blackout package, red brimble brakes. This is sexy. I think it's like, this is like what, the Alcantara or whatever. Can you see it? Seats with the red accents. Now they say these, the back is kind of small. Oh, you can't even see it back there. They say that, but oh, it's tinted. That's good. Come tinted. You can't even see them. So I'll just back up anyway. Now they say the um, back seats are kind of small, and I do ride share, of course, as you just saw. So that's a little bit of a loss, but I really am willing to let my riders take the L to have a nice Dodge. What do you think about these Jeeps? I'm never really big a Jeep unless it's like the off-road big wheel type. But these grand carriage geese are nice. Chrysler 300 sitting pretty. This is a little bit too estate-like to me. I still need something a little bit rough and tumble, so I'm definitely more of a challenger. I'd even drive the Pacifica if I went for an Uber or something like that too, or the Grand Caravan, but I also was thinking about a Durango. Durango would be sexy. Just the gas mileage is a menace. Blackout package too, real nice. How much they asking? We can even see. 42, too much for me for a ride show utility. Let's see what they got on this side in the used section. Nice little Toyota, Toyota. Subaru, I'm not really Subarus. Kia, this is pretty. How much? How much? Durango Black 2020 is probably more than I know. Spin 61 miles. Oh no, it's a C salesperson for 
Where's the price? Oh, okay. 39. Too much, too much. What about this one over here? What is this? It's not a... This is Durango. 40. Nice blackout package on both of these, though. Now, this is the real one. Out of all... Well, I don't know. This one looks good, too. But it is a little bit too much car for me. Because, like I was saying, I'm not really taking those long trips uh, anymore. I'm doing short trips. So, something like a journey. If I was to go a Dodge SUV and I'm not ready for the uh, Hornet, journey might be a better pick. I do need to test drive this at some point. It's 23. See, I could do that. I could uh, do that. It'd be a business investment. And get me one of these. There's enough room for people's luggage or whatever. You could do medium trips to the airport to Union Station. Love the seats. This would be a good car to drive. I might have to ask them about that eventually. And you got your standard uh, chargers, 300s. Yeah, real pretty. Very beautiful. Another ride. I'm at this uh, the Spot Food Hall. It's sort of new. They got a ton of, apparently a ton of like uh, different little outlet type spots inside here. So let's see what we get. Corn dogs are pretty good, but I was looking at the wrap. The corn dogs are nice. Let's do the. I'm gonna try the fish. Center. Um, it's called the Apollo. You can see over there. And you can see a lot of the rental spaces are not yet filled. So, looks like it's the order done about 11 a.m. But anyway, I think they've done a good job on this one over here. They got Sushi Monts, the Tech and Punch, something else. Um, what also is good about this area is that it is walking distance to a metro. My current condo that I invested in is walking distance from a metro as well, too. So I'm like, that's kind of nice. You can do a lot with that. You can um, have a tour going, you know, where you can um, uh, have people, like, you know, get off of the metro and be able to pick up your car. So there's a lot of value in having a metro. If you have your unit on Airbnb, um, they don't need to have a car to to stay there because a lot of people are looking for easy accessibility to, to the DC area. So those are things I'm thinking about. And yeah, I wouldn't mind a move here. I'm gonna have to look at the price of the units. Maybe I'll make a video of that and see if it's worth it. Another issue though is condo fees because my condo fees just went up 8% or about to and we're gonna have a HOA meeting soon. So that can be a hindrance in this area. They even got a bar too. Looks like we're doing an impromptu food review. Yeah, this was more than enough. So yeah, this is place. Kind of reminds me of Annandale, Virginia. I'm from Northern Virginia, but it's like um similar kind of like um. Americanized, Korean, Thai type food, it's food spot, food hall. And this place is gonna do well. See that beautiful porch there. We're in, um, cause we're right by Branch Avenue, into the metro station. And regardless of this area was traditionally maybe underserved or whatnot, a lot of these people who are living over here, as you can see from that Porsche and these beautiful cars, Mercedes over there are, government they're federal like I was talking about with the federal holiday they have steady income and they're looking to spend it on some experiences and food 
um, outside of the norm. They don't just want chicken wings and waffles. I mean, they want that too. It's mostly black over here. So there's a lot of investment. There's a lot of people underserved. Um, there's some condominiums over there. I wasn't able to find what I was looking on Redfin. I need to look at my computer. But I can tell you, this little town center is going to pop up. And I wouldn't be surprised if they put more around here too. So I need to really keep an eye on this. Road with a uh, another short trip, but I just wanted to give you guys a nice quality look at this town center, Apollo Town Center, Temple Hills, Maryland. Turn right, then turn right on Telfair Boulevard. Just a stone throw away from Branch Avenue Metro Station, which is the end of the Green Line, and then these. Oh, look at that beautiful Mercedes. That's the one I was talking about earlier. It's lifted. Uh, but these are the condos up in here. I'm gonna have a coffee shop there. Shut up, car. It's called PJ's Coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna start to start hanging out over here because I tell you the money. This is where the money is gonna be. Um, you know, you gotta keep an eye out for that. And then I think they have a government building. This right here on the right is another government building. It's like the Treasury or Trades. I forget what it is, but I did an Uber here and dropped the lady off months, maybe a year ago. So let's see, they got the 5-0 out front for security. Police, I don't know what office this is. Uh, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration. So like the uh, migrants, Latinos, and all that. And so there is the metro station I was talking to you about. And the rider canceled. That's some bullshit. But... Anyway, we got a nice little tour, so it's all good. Oh, and another one. Or... See, it worked out. We're at the Air Force Base, Andrews Air Force Base Visitor Center. Just dropped off this dude. You can see the kind of area we're at. So that's another. This area is not a nice surrounding Air Force Base. It's, um... The Apollo area that we just saw, but it's pretty close by in the sense that um, some of the spillover of having all those conscripted idiots or those employees there, it's good money for those businesses. Good, um, and, you know, apartments, be a lot of military people. Man. Let me, uh, I'm gonna use some of this chemical bros because right, it was for Anastasia, but it was a dude and he was kind of smelling a little bit so you gotta have your uh, refreshers on point because uh, these humans be odorous <laughs> 